Today we're going to have a look at how you can make an isometric grid in Photoshop. I'm sure if you're watching this tutorial, you've got some sort of interest in making isometric art. You can use this technique to make grids of any type. And then once you've made the grid, you can just draw over the top of it to make isometric shapes. As you can see, the angle of the grid significantly changes the shapes of the objects that you can make. It's more of a perspective thing than anything. So you can see that this kind of grid, you're looking more on top and this kind of grid is a more of a flatter look. The one in the center is the one that we're gonna try and make today and that's a 60 degree grid. Now to do this, I'm gonna make a 100 by 100 pixel artboard. The size of this grid is gonna be the size of basically half of that will be the size of the isometric grid. And then you can just copy it and paste it over whatever size you want. I'm starting with 100 by 100 because that'll get you down to a grid size of about 50 by 50 when you finish. You can explore different sizes at another time. I'm gonna zoom right in. And I'm going to get the line tool. And I'm going to pick this blue as my color. I'm going to make it one pixel. I'm going, actually, I'm going to zoom out just a tiny little bit. I'm going to make my line much bigger than the grid. And I'm holding down shift to get a straight line. Now you want to have this overlap. Now you can duplicate this line and duplicate it a second time. And now with your move tool, move the third one. Over to the other side, then select all three. And up here you have some tools which allow you to evenly distribute them. I'm going to choose the distribute horizontally and then it makes them evenly spread apart. I'm going to put those I've got those three selected and I've hit the folder and that will put them into a group. I'm going to call it vertical lines. I'm going to duplicate this group. This is going to be angled lines one. I'm going to press control T. And I'm going to rotate them with the shift key held 60 degrees. And hit enter to accept that. I'm going to duplicate this group. And I'm going to go up to transform. And I'm going to flip horizontally. And now, as you can see, you have in the center here, your isometric view. I'm going to grab the crop tool and I'm going to pull it all the way in so that it just starts before that blue line and just start before the blue line here. And now for the horizontal one, you basically want to grab one section that tiles. So I'm going to pull it down so that it just sits on top there. And this one here. And hit enter. I'm going to select all those groups. I'm going to go over here to patterns. And I'm going to hit the plus button. I'm going to call it isometric tutorial. Now I've left the background on here, so I might do a second one. I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to again save it. And I'm going to call this one isometric 
tutorial, no background. Now I've made another board. This one is 1000 by 1000 pixels. I'm going to grab the paint bucket tool. I'm going to pick a pattern. And here are the two that I've just created. I'm going to pick the one with no background. And you paste it and there you go. And you've got your isometric grid. One trick that you can do is if you don't want to do it that way and you want to be able to scale it. Go to layer, new fill layer, pattern. Hit OK. Choose your isometric grid and now you can scale it here. Make your grid bigger or smaller and that's all there is to it if you're using a different angle you may need to adjust the vertical lines to match but that should be something you can easily see while you're doing it hope you found this tutorial useful and now that you've made your pattern you can just reuse it every single time that you want if this tutorial was helpful Please like, subscribe and comment. It really helps me grow the channel so that I can make more tutorials.